Are you ready to improve your life? Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. But really, are you ready to improve your life? Because I would say I have drastically improved my life over the last few days through testing a wide variety of TikTok kitchen life hacks. And truly, most of them are amazing. And I am sharing all of them with you today. So let's get right into the video. But before we do, I have to shamelessly plug my channel. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys and go follow me over on TikTok and Instagram just at my Zimmy. This first hack is for anyone who loves fresh garlic in their cooking but hates chopping up those tiny little cloves. Unfortunately, you still have to take off that outer layer of garlic. There's no getting around that. Quick way to take the shell off the garlic. You cut off both ends, just a slight bit from both ends, and then it pretty much just rolls on out itself. But back to the TikTok hack you're here for now that we have the fresh cloves. Supposedly, you're supposed to be able to mince these without a knife by just hammering them with a meat hammer. And if this works, this is ideal for me because I have a bad habit of slicing myself when I try to mince tiny little objects. I got some saran wrap. We're going to cover these items in saran wrap. I'm actually gonna, it doesn't say to do this in the video, but just to be safe, I'm gonna triple it up. Then you take a meat hammer. Wow, that actually looks like way better mince than I would have done. That is pretty freaking minced. I am never going to mince garlic the traditional way again. And then look, so easy to clean up and this didn't get anything on it. Little container, I'm gonna save this for future. Next are some hacks to keep everything sealed and fresh in a more efficient way. First, if you need to seal up a bag of chips but you don't have a clip, there is a TikTok from Goldilocks Bears that I tried. And after trial and error, I kind of realized it was crap. But fortunately, I did not lose hope. Does that work? No. Okay, that's how I did it. So rolled it and then flip it. Do that. You can flip it over. No, that doesn't work. It was a lie. I saw one other person do this, so let me find the other video. Okay, we still have hope. I found another one. All right, all right. So we're gonna fold, fold, flip, roll, and then we're going to flip these like that. It actually does stick. Okay, one person had it right. There's a good amount of chips and weight left in this and it is sealed shut. Okay, I actually have one more. This bag is not nearly as empty, so I'm gonna see if it still works. It's on like a fairly full bag of chips. So we're gonna fold, fold, flip, roll, and then turn the little pocket. In the little pocket. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm actually really happy with how famously this one worked out. I am not going to buy those back clips anymore because now I know how to do this. Natasha Green Tea also came through showing this hack of how to tie up items, and I can confirm that this does work, and I use it on freezer goods sometimes if it doesn't have a zip seal. And even though Goldilocks Bears, I feel so stupid saying that name. And even though Goldilocks Bears chip sealer thing didn't work, she did come through on a great way to seal up your bread if you don't have a twisty tie. If you're looking for healthier bread, life hack, get this Dave's Killer Bread. Three grams of protein, three grams of fiber, 320 milligrams of ALA omega-3, and 13 grams of whole grain. So just this, this is like the healthiest bread I've been able to find to put into my kids' lunch boxes, and they actually like it and eat it. Seal it up like this per usual, and then fold your bag over the bread like this, and it stays sealed and it actually works better as the bag gets used up. And then you can say bye to these annoying things. Sticking in the bread category, pairs well with wine, shared this hack on how she uses flip tight storage containers to store her bread the most efficiently. I bought these clear containers, airtight flip top containers. 
from Walmart. It's in their Better Homes and Garden brand. First, I'm gonna take out these liners and wash them out. All right, they have been washed and dried. What you do is you fold the bag over. Now this Dave's bread is almost like too good of a perfect fit in this that it's hard to get the bag over. In the TikTok video, she was able to like adjust the height of the bread just pulling on the bag, but that's not really an option in this scenario. But I still think this is actually a really good way to keep the bread fresh for a long time. So I got this larger container too for this. Let's see if it works. Uh, doesn't, you can't, you can't flip it over the sides. So the flip tight container hack could be great. I really do like it still, but you gotta test it out with your specific type of bread that you buy and the flip tight containers in stores to make sure it works. I really do like this twist and fold over method though, so this is what I think I'm moving forward with in my house. I'm not sure who started this next hack because it has been reposted so many times because it really does work. And that is how to preserve half of your avocado when you've only taken the other half of it to eat. I feel like most people don't generally eat an entire avocado in one sitting. They maybe slice it in half and then try to save that half, but it never really saves. It ends up turning brown in like an hour. So in this hack, after you slice it in half, Look at this absolutely perfect avocado. I'll eat this half for lunch, but I want to save this half. All you need to do, get an airtight Tupperware, fill it with water, let me do that. Submerge the half that you're not using into the water and seal it up. And that's it. Supposedly, this avocado is supposed to last at least until tomorrow now, so I'm gonna put it in my fridge and see how long it lasts for in this container. And actually, speaking of that, all of my avocados are at peak perfect ripeness right now, so I'm going to put all of them in my fridge so that it slows down the ripening process because I'm not about to eat five avocados in one day. Okay, it's been two days since I started this hack and we're going to check in on this little avocado. The only way I have to prove that it's been a couple days is my nails are kind of janky now. But you can see, even just looking through it on the bottom, it still looks pretty nice and green. And when you pull it out, I mean, it doesn't look as fresh as it was two days ago when I put it in here, but it still looks perfectly fresh, ready to eat. I ended up eating it for lunch and it was good. This next one, I kind of feel like an idiot for not knowing this, but I feel like I redeemed myself in the end. So just watch it all the way through, even if you feel like you knew it, which you probably did, just, just hear me out. I'm going to feel like a complete idiot if it is applicable to me. Maybe it's not even applicable to me, but comment below if you knew this hack. And wow, I'm already seeing that I'm an idiot. There are these tabs that you can, come on, maybe push in. I don't wanna hurt myself trying to push it in, but you're supposed to be able to push in these tabs. This is going to be the video that I stab myself or lose a finger. I don't feel as bad now because they don't make it really easy to push these tabs in. There, push the tab in. You don't have to worry about the tin foil falling out. So it's official. I'm an idiot because I never knew that. All right, this one automatically came with it, so I'm not done there. This parchment paper. Okay, so this one, actually does annoyingly like pop out all the time. So I'm actually going to cut my own little tabs in this to help keep it in place. I cut the same U-shaped tab that was on the Reynolds wrap with a scissors. At first I attempted it, it wasn't working out that great. So then I got my little like shanker knife thing out and was able to cut the U-shaped tab with that. Okay, so I created my own. I just like cut a little circle and it has the tab sticking out here. So let me do it on the other side too. On this side, I made my own push tab again. Now I'm putting it back in, pushing it into the hole. Oh my gosh, it doesn't pop out anymore. You can see I'm not squeezing it and it's staying in. I am so happy with this life hack. Truly, if you have something like this and it doesn't come with push tabs, make your own. I love this parchment paper from Kirkland, but it was always so annoying to pull out of here. And now it's not annoying. This next hack is for you if you have a small appliance or something that requires multiple AA batteries 
and maybe you're all out and you only have AAA batteries left at your disposal. I actually don't have any kitchen appliances that take AA batteries, so we're using my remote control for the example here. So all you're gonna do, you can leave the dead AA battery in here. You just have to have a AAA that has enough juice to get everything going. Put a little piece of tin foil in the negative terminal, put in the AAA battery, and it works. And no smoke and mirrors, it's turning on. There, you see, it turned on, and just to prove, it's got the AAA and the AA and it turned on the TV. This next hack, I have been using it for quite a while now, but I originally learned it from TikTok, and that is how to properly cut a bell pepper because I was cutting it very wrong for my entire life. Before we get to chopping, kind of related to Amazon find that I feel like is a kitchen hack in my house is this cutting board. I was able to get rid of all other cutting boards in my house because this takes care of it all. Its base is a bamboo board, and it houses five or six of these thin board toppers, so I can use one to cut up chicken, a different one to cut up veggies. The plastic boards are all dishwasher safe. It's such a space saver in the kitchen. I always have it out, use it daily, but back to the chopping hack. In the past, I would cut bell peppers in the most random way. There'd be seeds and crap everywhere, but hack, turn it over, follow the lines that they give you, and then peel away. You get maximum bell pepper and all the random little seeds and the stem are collected all together here. Depending on if you miss the slice slightly, you may have to cut off just a tiny bit of seeds, but it's pretty negligible compared to what I used to be left with in terms of just seeds and crap. Now the next life hack is how to properly cut an onion so that it doesn't make you cry. Now, I am very, sensitive to onions and eye waterage and just like I hate cutting onions so much that I decided to buy myself an onion chopper just because I was over it and getting the onion chopper out putting it together chopping one onion and then having to clean out all the little wires can be time consuming so if I can avoid using it for a single onion and just use those for bigger cooking projects that's what I would prefer so in this life hack all you need is a paper towel my sink is a mess you get it wet and you place the wet paper towel right next to where you're planning on cutting your onion. The reason this works is the acid in the onion is attracted to water. So instead of it being attracted to the moisture and water in your eyes, semi blinding you, it will go to the moisture rich paper towel. I need to buy new knives really bad. This one is pretty dull and I'm at risk of like hurting myself and cutting myself. So far, not crying, not crying. Look at my eyes, so far I'm not crying. <laughs> and I mean, I'm cutting the onion like basically into the water rag in hopes that if the onion is closer to that rag, it's gonna go to that and not to the moisture in my eyes. So far, no crying. So far, so good. I'm not quite done yet. I got one more chop here. Normally at this point, water would be like pouring out of my eyes and I would be having to leave the area momentarily to gather myself. I am starting to like get a little wateriness. I'm feeling a slight sting in my eyes. This knife is so freaking dull. I need to get a better knife because I'm not effectively chopping things anymore because this knife is so not acting like a knife. It's basically just like a dull piece of metal. Fully chopped up and I'm not crying. Look at that. I am very happy to not have to pull out this onion chopper to just chop one onion anymore. I am for sure using this life hack forever. The other reason I like this cutting board that I already shared with you is because when you're getting it into a Tupperware and it's a small little Tupperware like this, you can basically funnel funnel it in and not have spillage, even though you just saw one little piece fall onto the floor there. Okay, now I'm starting to get sore eyes because I took the towel away. That was a mistake. 
I removed the towel from the space and now I am dying. Okay, this next hack, supposedly you're supposed to be able to wax on, wax off those little stickers that come on the bottom of everything. I guess maybe this isn't technically like a kitchen hack, but I feel like it's a kitchen hack. For this one, I have been saving up tons of items I recently purchased specifically so that I can do this wax on, wax off approach of getting the little sticker off. So let's see. I have two different types of tape at my disposal to see if this works. First, I have just regular cheapy tape that I use to wrap presents. And then I have this Gorilla Heavy Duty Packaging Tape, just in case this flimsy tape doesn't work, because I just feel like this flimsy tape might not work. Wax on, wax off. Long story short, this didn't work out as swimmingly for me as it seemed to work out for people on TikTok. I would have to do multiple rounds to just kind of get the sticker off. There was one time when I used the super strong Gorilla Tape on one of the stickers and it actually worked, but this was the only time it wax actually worked. On. One, two, three, wax off. There we go. So do I recommend this hack? No. I feel like it was easier when I just manually peeled stickers off myself by hand, but you know, people on TikTok do whatever works for you. All right, this is going to be my last attempt on this mom mode thermos and surprise, surprise, this is actually my merch, links below. Let's see if this works. Losing hope. One, two, three, no. Oh, sometimes TikTok lies. Don't believe everything you see on TikTok. To the next hack, chugging this water so I can do it. That last way made it look like this is vodka or something. No, just water, just, <laughs> I chugged it a little too fast. This next kitchen life hack involves these plastic bottles and we're gonna have to get the knife out again. Let's see, this one might not be so easy because this is a much thicker bottle. Pray for me. You really only need this top screw part here, so I cut off the excess. So you stick the bag through here, and then put it over, and then you can supposedly screw the cap on. With this smaller spout, it didn't seem to be able to screw through the bag, so then I moved on to using the larger spout and cut off the excess, and it did end up working with this one. And then, all right, it works. On the bigger one, and now, now I guess I have a little handle for my M&Ms, but you can unscrew it, and then it also pours out nicely. This dinky little Aquafina spout does not seem to work with the size and weight of the plastic bags on most things nowadays. But if you can find a water bottle that has a bigger spout because it's a bigger jug like what I had, or I mean, I know there are some water brands that have the larger spout, that works out famously to seal up packages nicely and still have a little spout to get it out. And the handle on this one is just so cute to me. It's like my little satchel of mini chocolate chips. And if you noticed this banana hook in the background so far, I feel like this is an applicable hack to add into this video. I shared it in a recent clean with me, but it's been a few weeks since I installed it and I love it. So worth it. I know it's only holding three bananas right now, but it has held one and a half like large bushels of bananas on it and has not fallen. It's literally just a sticky adhesive that sticks onto the bottom of your cabinetry. It flips up and out of sight when you don't have any bananas so that your counter and everything can look clean. This thing though can hold like the largest possible bundle that you could buy of bananas with ease, no problems at all. This next hack was by far my favorite one to test out and I had to go to the store to get the supplies for it, so let's cut to that. This next hack involves one of my favorite food groups, cake. Do I need to test out this hack to see if it'll work? Probably not, but I am a woman of science and in order to truly see if it works, I need to test it out myself. My hypothesis is that it's going to work, but you know, I gotta, I gotta try it myself. Oh my gosh, we have these bougie cakes here. And you know what? I never buy myself cake, never. I've never just straight up bought myself a cake. And again, in the name of science, 
Let's get a good one. Back home and we got to test out this cake hack. The first hack that I saw on TikTok, it showed the best way to cut a slice of cake so that you get the perfect slice and it's easy to pull out from the cake. You need very specific tongs in order to do this. I do not have that type of tongs. I went to Walmart. I was not able to find tongs like this sold at anywhere. I do remember growing up, my parents and my grandparents had tongs like this. So it might just be something you either own these or you don't because maybe they don't make tongs like this anymore. But I would imagine that works. But even though I couldn't test out the tongue hack in the name of science, I have to test out at least this next hack. When I was selecting the cake, the lady at the counter asked if I wanted something written on it and I kind of panicked and I was just like, for science. And she was like, what? For sci like science, S-C-I-E. I'm like, yeah. I couldn't take it back after I said it because that would be even weirder. So, so I got for science written on this cake. And in this TikTok, essentially what you need to do is you need to have a party. I don't have a party going on, so I'm just doing this myself. But it's just a creative way for everyone to serve themselves cake. And all they do is they take a wine glass and they scoop up the cake into the wine glass. It's a cool adult way to eat your cake. Can't believe I just bought myself this cake to test it out. I really do actually want to try this at a real party in real life, not just sitting in the kitchen by myself, like eating a whole bunch of cake. And when I get to that point of hosting a party where we all serve ourselves cake via wine glass scoop, I wanna make sure I have the right wine glass, that it executes properly, that we don't go into it and then it just becomes like a terrible mess. So really, I'm just convincing myself that I really had to try this out myself and justify this purchase and this meal that I'm about to enjoy. So let's try this out. I have a variety of wine glasses. I have a standard small wine glass. I have a flute. This is the flute that I actually drank from on my wedding day many a years ago. I have, I'm blanking on the name, like a larger, more rotund glass. And then just in case, you know, it's a cake that's supposed to be served cold, I have an insulated wine glass. So we will try a scoop with each of these glasses, see which one works the best. Let, let me zoom in closer. Cause I'm not buying another cake. I can't, I can't F this up. Let's do this. Uh, all right. <gasps> Yummy, except for it's all over the side of the glass. They didn't show the fact that it's all over the side of the glass in the video. Oh, it looks beautiful from this side, but the side that scooped into the cake is definitely covered in frosting and cake. So, I, I mean, I wiped it off. That side of the glass still looks kind of dirty. It's not as bougie looking as this side. Maybe the flute will work out better because it won't get scraped all over the side, potentially. Let's see how the flute works. Ooh, you know what? That flute actually worked out famously. It's not scraped all over the side because of the shape of it, because it sticks out. I mean, I don't need to explain this. Y'all are not idiots, but yeah, it's not scraped all over the side. In terms of beauty, this one is all around much more beautiful and less messy because there's not crap all over the sides. I feel bougier eating out of this one too. This one's just fancier looking. Honestly, knowing how the last two just worked, I'm not even going to test this one out because of the shape of it. I'm not gonna try this one out either, again, because of the shape. I'm going to a play date tomorrow, so I'm bringing this to the play date. I'm not going to destroy it anymore. And per usual, I forgot to film an outro because I think I got a little sidetracked just eating mass amounts of cake. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let's keep hanging out. Click on one of the playlists floating over the screen at this point, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.